Hello everyone, uh, today I want to show you a web application that I built. It's called Pi2Ruby and you can access it uh, just by typing in pi2ruby.com and what it is is it's a it's a free tool that allows you to convert Python code to Ruby. Right? So when you uh, land on this page you see that there are two editors and one is for Python, one is for Ruby so when you hit this button it will convert the Python code on the left and display on the right in the Ruby editor. Right. And then over here, I have the README that uh, basically explains uh, what is supported on Py2Ruby. So the general Python syntax without importing libraries and modules. And then just for a quick example, I have a file here that just contains basic implementations of uh, data structures and algorithms that you are familiar with. So I have an array stack, I have an array max heap, uh, the min heap, uh, w link list and uh, merge sort All right so if I copy and paste this and then I run it it will convert immediately and you might notice that there's this attribute accessor here if for those who are not familiar with Ruby um, in Python methods and fields are always public and in Ruby methods are public but fields are private so that's why we have this attribute accessor so Py to Ruby will scan the constructor and put in this attribute accessor. All right. So just to make sure it works, I have the online Python compiler. So let's get rid of that and paste in my code. All right. So everything compiles and runs. All right. And then if I take this Ruby code, all right, I have this Ruby online Ruby compiler from REPL. So let's copy and paste run right, compiles and runs fine right, and you can compare the output are uh, pretty similar if not exactly the same and they're just some you know minor details but for the most part the function that functionality is the same okay so that's pi to Ruby and yeah that's it